Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Brandon and this is Taylor's Fire Smoke Cooking. Today we're going to whip up something pretty simple. Uh, we're going to take some of that leftover turkey and the turkey carcass and we're going to make an amazing turkey and noodle uh, soup or creamy turkey and noodles. Whatever you want to call it. I just know it's amazing. Stick by. Let's get into this thing and uh, I'm sure you'll love it. Here we go. We're going to get into these ingredients. What we have here is some leftover turkey. We have some white and dark meat in here. I've got some rough chopped onions, green pepper, and uh, celery, which it doesn't matter how thick you cut it because we're going to strain it once we get done with our stock anyway. I've got a turkey carcass, so a lot of times it's hard to get all the meat off of it. I smoke my turkey, so this turkey is going to uh, provide a really rich and delicious flavor to that stock we're going to use, so that's what I have in here. This old turkey carcass, this one is frozen. As soon as we got done with our frozen, that way it just doesn't be sitting for a while. Got some egg noodles, extra wide egg noodles, but you can use whatever kind of noodle you want, really. We got some um, chicken brace, uh, cream of chicken soup. I got a couple bags of these peas and carrots that we're gonna put in there. I don't know if I'm gonna use one or two, but I got, do have two. One of my favorites, that complete seasoning. We got pepper, garlic, and uh, granulated, or coarse salt. So uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and get some water in this pot here get our veggies and stuff in there. We're just gonna start boiling this uh, this turkey down. Got the water in here. Now you can see how much water I have in my pot. This uh, turkey is a little bigger than the pot, but it doesn't matter because once it begins to boil down, it's gonna break down and it's gonna fit all in the pot. So uh, I've got it on there now. I've got the heat on medium, medium high. And I'm just gonna add a couple tablespoons of uh, this chicken base in there as well. Just to add flavor. I'm not going to add any salt to this because you got to remember this was a smoked turkey. This turkey was seasoned as, as good as you can get it. It's going to provide a nice smoky flavor. And then the meat still has some uh, salt in it as well. So we're not going to worry about any salt in that at the moment. But we're going to add some of these veggies in there. So I'm just going to add some big handfuls of it, all of it. And again, we're going to strain this. Um, when we get done so we're not gonna have to worry about having these big chunky veggies or anything in there but it's gonna provide this stock is gonna be really really good and whatever we don't use for our turkey and noodles we'll just be able to uh, freeze uh, for a later later meal and I just want to add a little bit of granulated garlic in there And that's going to be it for the for this beginning process. We're going to stir it up real good, and then I'm um, just going to move on, let it do its thing, and then uh, probably about 30 minutes or so once it comes up to a rolling boil. In 30 minutes, I should be able to uh, push the rest of this down, and then let it go again for maybe another hour, hour or so. Now this is just the process I'm doing, and I have this turkey left over. I don't want to throw it out. It's got a lot of good meat and flavor in it. You could skip this whole process and cut back on your time if you wanted to. And just use some, uh, just go straight use chicken base or some chicken broth if you have it. Or maybe you've got some stock already and that would eliminate this. But this is what this, again, we talked about the foundation when we did our collard green video, which you can see at the top, at the top eye card there, if you want to see that. And again, we're just building the foundation for our flavors right now. And this is going to be the foundation. So we're going to let this roll for a little while. When it's time to check it, I'll bring you guys back in. I just want to bring you guys right back in real quick. It's been just over 30 minutes, about 35 minutes or so uh, since we put the turkey in here. And you can see how it's starting to change color and how that stock is starting to form right now. The veggies are starting to float to the top and everything like that's good. But you can see it's starting to really uh, break down like we wanted to. So I'm now I'm going to be able to fit that pot, that uh, lid on this pot. But uh, this is the, like I said, it's the foundation. Everything is looking good. If you could smell it, you'd probably want to just drink this liquid like it is. It smells that good. Uh, it's got a little bit of a smoky undertone to it because like I said, we did smoke this turkey. So uh, this is exactly what we want. We're going to keep on letting this roll probably another 30 minutes or so. I'm going to pull as much meat off of this bone as I can. And like I said, we have some other uh, leftover turkey that we had that we're going to add to the dish. But I just wanted to bring you guys in and let you see where we're at so far. And uh, we're just going to keep on letting it go. So we'll pick back up in about 30 minutes or so, guys. All right, y'all. It's been a little of an hour. And uh, we've boiled this turkey carcass down as much as we need to right now. 
all we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and pull it. We're going to place it in a bowl and we're going to allow it to cool down some. And then we're going to pull all the meat that we can get off of it, off of it. And then we're going to strain this broth. So we're going to strain all those big veggies and everything out of it. That way we can go ahead on and start moving forward toward making our turkey and noodles. So that's what we're about to do next. All right, guys, we've got everything strained. So now here's the meat off of that turkey carcass. We're gonna go ahead and put that back in the pot. And then as well as we're gonna add in that, uh, that extra turkey that we had that I showed you earlier. I did chop it up a little bit into bigger chunks. And we're gonna go ahead on and add that into the pot as well. And we're just gonna heat that back up and let it go. Bring it up back up to a boil. And let that go for about 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes or so just to get it back heated and then, uh, so that meat can begin to shred just a little bit before we add in our veggies. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a stir and then we're going to uh, allow it to go back in. Hey guys, don't forget to thumbs up this video and share me out please, I really appreciate it. All right, so we've let that chicken cook for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in those peas and those carrots as well. We're gonna add in both bags of those and we're gonna let those veggies go for about 15 or 20 minutes as well. Keep in mind those are frozen veggies. So we're gonna just uh, bring them in and get them rolling in that uh, stock and get them uh, to where we want them as well. So like I said, about 15, 20 minutes on the veggies. Then we're gonna move on to our next step. So everything is looking good, smelling good right now, exactly where we wanna be. All right, it's been 20 minutes and we're going to go ahead on and add in those of uh, the cream of chicken soup as well. And then our noodles, we're in the home stretch now, guys. So we'll just get as much, get all of that soup out of that can. We want it all. And when we put it in there, it's still going to look a little uh, loose and that's fine because it's piping hot. And when it cools down some, it's going to thicken up some, so thicken up even more. But this is an awesome, awesome recipe. When I tell you this is comfort food at its finest, you really can't get too much better than this. And it's also a change of pace from the, you know, you get tired of eating your leftovers. So this is something that's a little different, but you're still utilizing those leftovers and not having to throw anything away. So, got our, uh, I did add two cans, by the way. I did one off camera. Now we're gonna add in both bags of the egg noodles. Now I started off with one for sure. Then I'm gonna add in half of the second bag and just gauge it, and it is gonna take both bags. So I did wind up putting both bags of the egg noodles into the uh, pot. Leave it uh, down in the comments, guys. What do you guys do with your, your turkey leftovers? Do you normally not have any turkey leftovers left or? Do you guys find dishes to make with it as well? Do you throw it out? Like I said, I don't want to throw anything out, and especially in today's climate now, you know, we're doing okay, but you know, you want to try to make sure that you don't waste any food, and this is an awesome dish, and this is another dish that you can eat one day and then have leftovers the next, and it's even better the next day, so. All right, now we're just going to hit it with some black pepper. Now, any type of chicken and noodles or chicken noodle soup or anything like that, I like a heavy pepper in it. You know, you can put as much or as little as like you like, but I do like a heavy black pepper in my uh, soups and my chicken and noodles. And then we're gonna go ahead and add one of my favorites. We're gonna add a, a good dose of that complete seasoning in here as well. Again, the stock is pretty good as far as uh, salt. We will add some a little later down the line, but we had salt from the, uh, the soup the uh, condensed soup we had salt from the uh, turkey that we used sodium in both of those so it's not on the bland side it can just be kicked up a notch and then we have a little sodium in that complete as well so we're really really doing well as far as seasoning all right now we're about 20 minutes in since those noodles have been in there and boiling you can see they're starting to get loose and everything is really starting to marry together and come together the way we want to you got the perfect amount of uh, peas and carrots in there. The flavors from those onions and the celery and green pepper earlier. We did give it a little taste and it just needs a little pinch of salt. We're gonna put a little of that kosher salt in there. 
just a little palm full, a couple little palm fulls, and that'll be it for it, guys. Another little stir. We're gonna let it go just a few minutes longer to really get those noodles the way we want them. But that's it. This is how you make an awesome creamy chicken and noodle, or turkey and noodle uh, dish, or turkey and noodle soup, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, I just know it tastes amazing. And this here is spot on, y'all. Spot on. And that's it, guys. This is the final product. Like I said, it seems a little uh, loose right now. It is gonna thicken up some when we let it cool. So we're gonna let it sit just for a little bit, 10, 15 minutes for it to cool down, and you'll see how it thickens up. And this is a hearty, hearty dish. And the kids will love it as well. Check out that slow motion goodness we got going on right there. Those thick egg noodle, uh, thick uh, wide egg noodles we have, the peas that carries those thick chunks of chicken. This right here, everybody in the household will love it. Hey y'all, I appreciate you guys checking me out. Easy recipe. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate you guys. God bless you. Until the next time. Brandon, out.